Wait, wait, wait. You would actually think about sending Michael to live with the quarter mates? I want him to be safe. And you and Sonny Bo told me that it's dangerous at his place. I'd like for Michael to live here with me, but he doesn't want to. And if no one's going to back me, the quarter mains are my only option. Living with you would be the best thing for Michael. Great, then tell him that. But it would not be the best thing for you. You're at risk. You can't, you can't be under stress, Carla. I wouldn't be under stress. You wouldn't be. Michael fights with you all the time. It's not all the time, okay? And, and yet when it does happen, it hurts. But it's not like he's going to cause me to have a stroke or anything. I, I don't think a doctor would actually agree with that. But you know what? It doesn't matter because Michael's not going to listen to me anyway. He will listen to you. He trusts you more than he trusts no, anyone. No, Michael wants to go to work for Sonny. He actually asked me to teach him this business. Why the hell didn't you tell I'm me tellin', that? I'm telling you that. Right now, Michael said that he helped save you from some uh, some guy running through the woods. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he did, but so what? He's not going to work for Sonny. And I already told him that. I don't want him being a part of the business at all, no, Jason. Carly, I told him that I'm not going to let it happen. But now he thinks that I'm a hypocrite, and anything that I suggest to him, he's going to do the exact opposite. It must have been pretty hard to find yourself fighting with Michael, huh? Yeah, I'm just sorry that I couldn't get through to him. Michael loves you. Just a matter of time before he's over and he trusts you again. The point is, I, I'm not going to be able to talk him into moving back in here with you and Jack. He's afraid that he is going to do something that upsets me and Morgan. He's going to lose his temper. That's why he won't move back in here. He's scared he's going to hurt us. And I know that he wants to stay with Sonny. It's too dangerous. I know it is. It's too dangerous, and I can't stand the proximity to Claudia. That leaves the quartermates. Well, I didn't think you were serious about that. I wasn't. I was just trying to push you into talking Michael into coming back here. But now, hell, it looks like the quarter mains are our only solution. Okay, do you think maybe you're just a little harsh? So I don't like the guy who knows that. Why would she blindside us like that? She didn't mean to. She just obviously just wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. That's uh, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. How's Michael doing? No, no, no. Um, cool. yeah. with your brother. It's been it's been a tough transition. Yeah, well, he's lost a year of his life. Sure, it's been a challenge for all of you. Yeah, it is. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I don't think you should get your hopes up. Why not? Because I think Carly was having a bad day. And I don't think this is ever going to happen. He's not going to be living here. Yeah, that depends on you. Try to manipulate your mother. Can we have a moment, Edward? Don't cave into this hoodlum. This is my son. And this is my house. And you are excused. Monica, I have waited too long to get my great-grandson back in this house, and I'm not about to Edward, give up now. Edward, out! What? Oh. All oh, right. Uh, Carly seemed very concerned about Michael. What's, what is going on? He's, uh, he's angry, and he's confused, and he's vulnerable. And it's just, it's really hard to know how to get through to him. Well, that sounds exactly the way I felt after your accident. Kind of like history repeating itself yeah. with Michael. When I try to help him, he thinks I'm trying to control him. Yeah, you fought us every step of the way. I'm, I'm sorry about that. No. Uh-uh. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I wanted you back so desperately that I... I realized in hindsight that I pushed you away. And now I'm doing the same thing with Michael. Well, we can only learn from experience, so... Go easy. Yeah, I'm trying. I am. I'm trying. It's just really hard for him to accept help from me right now. And I'm really hoping that he accepts help from you. 
recuperate and get their bearings back, but I gotta tell you, all my years of medicine went right out the window when, when you got hurt. And I only, I only existed on my emotions, and I'm, I'm gonna try very, very hard not to make that same mistake with Michael. I think you need to set some type of limits with him. It's kind of a fine line because you got to trust him to keep him. Listen, I'm just grateful for the chance to get to know my grandson again. I, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be good for both of us. So do I. Oh, Carly did mention that uh, she didn't want us to say anything bad about you or her or Sonny. And I want you to know, you have my word, I wouldn't dream of that. All that matters to me is helping Michael. But you know, if he if he doesn't settle in, he could, you know, take off. Just like you did. Yeah. Must have been uh, <clears throat> hard for you guys when I joined up with Sonny. It was awful, Jason. I'm just glad you, you survived. I know you can't see it, but Sonny is a good guy. But if Michael leaves, who knows what could happen to him? If you want Michael to stay, why don't you set an example? Come home with him. Get in.